Today we're going to be visiting the Wild West, and of course when you're in the Wild West, you have to have one of two weapons. One is of course the revolver, here we have a beautiful .357, funny thing is that's apparently the same gun as the one in Half-Life 2, but this one we can say is arguably better. And of course some sort of old school shotgun, here we have a break action. Definitely an absolute powerhouse. But how do you go even more Wild West than this? Well, simple. Just download a mod that's from Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, of course, what do I mean by that? We all know Red Dead Redemption is a fantastic series. I myself played a lot of the original Xbox version. And of course, Red Dead Redemption 2 is, well, even better in some regards. But I've yet to really sink my teeth into that one. I have played the online. It's miserable. But the thing about the Red Dead series I've always loved is the Deadeye system. A function where you can pretty much slow down time, mark your targets, and then pretty much get aimbot. And we have that in today's video. If you guys couldn't tell in the bottom left corner, we do have the Deadeye meter down there that obviously does get wasted as you're in the Deadeye mode. When you're in this mode, by the way, the damage you take is reduced by half. So don't worry about dying when you're in this mode. And then of course, when you do bind certain keys, I have X as my key, you can then bind the toggle button to mark your targets. And then there's a very slim chance that you can get that awesome kill camera. Now it doesn't happen all the time and you don't even need to be in Deadeye to have it work. Sometimes when you just shoot or kill normal NPCs, you'll even get it. So now that we've seen it in action, let's take a deeper look at the Deadeye system. And of course guys, this is a mini mod showcase. Thank you for coming again. Sorry for yesterday's late video. Fun fact though, when I was doing the Dear Esther map, I was talking about like the roots of my channel and like, you know, when I first started it. Well, I didn't even realize that yesterday was the 11th anniversary of the YouTube channel. So it's kind of fitting that we did that video anyway, kind of taking a look back at something that made me kind of want to start YouTube in the first place, or I guess PC gaming as a whole. Anyway, now we're going to talk about the nitty gritty. So how do we even get this to work in the first place? Well, it's pretty simple. Go ahead and go into the console, type bind, press the key you want to bind it to, and then we have the commands. First things first, we have toggle. So as the name suggests, this is pretty much going to toggle the Deadeye mode on and off. But then again, we also need a key to mark our target. So go ahead and replace the toggle with mark, put another key in there, like say maybe N or something, and then press enter and then you'll be good to go. Now when you press your toggle key, you'll toggle the mode, which is what slows down time and makes you much more immune to damage. And then in this mode, you can also press X to target NPCs, which obviously we don't have any, so we can't target them. And then again, you do have that slim chance of actually well getting that kill cam. If you want it to be more common though, go ahead and go into options, go into Red Dead Redemption, and then you can actually adjust the Deadeye system right here. So if you want the kill cam to happen all the time, raise this all the way up. And now every single time we kill an NPC, we're going to get this bitchin' looking camera. Now it is gonna get kind of annoying, you know, if everything you kill has that camera. So that's why it's amazing that the creator does give you the option to lower the chance if you want. Now don't worry, because when you're in that camera feed, you might think that you're susceptible to damage. However, the creator has disabled damage completely, so you're pretty much invincible. All right, next up we have the low HP effect. So this is kind of interesting. What does this even do? And in order to properly showcase this, we are going to need to take some damage. All right, we're almost there. We had to get down to, I think, 30. Okay, so once you get down to low health, you're gonna notice things start to get a little weird. Well, that was a little too weird. Um, I guess we can talk about the death effect. So when you die, you get this really cool effect creepy music as well, and then when you press left click to spawn, you are reawakened back into the world of the living. But obviously we don't want to die, we just want to be hurt like a- So let's get down to that point. Alright, here we are, 18 health, and now you're going to start to notice things are getting very strange. Our screen is changing to these weird red hues, everything's getting kind of blurry, and by the way, this is kind of a demanding feature, so be very cautious of this, however if you don't like it, you can simply pretty much disable it. So it's going to add some sway, although we also have sh movement uh, enabled, which is giving us some sway as well. In fact, that probably isn't a good idea to have both of these enabled, but honestly, I don't see a problem with it. All right, time to get our rootin' tootin' red dead on. We do have a few more options, of course, like in Deadeye, you can choose the slowdown time, how much Deadeye you have, a bunch of crazy things. So 
props to the creator for giving us all these features and settings to adjust. But I really want to get down to business, so this is the power of Deadeye. We can mark all these targets, kill all of them within a fraction of a second, and we even get the kill cam on the final one, although I'll be honest, it doesn't look all that great. Now we have a predicament though. We are really low on health, things are looking dire, and we have pretty much no Deadeye, so how do we get more Deadeye more quickly? Well, I'm glad you asked, because we have a cigar to smoke, I'm not kidding. Smoking this will increase the rate of your Deadeye recovery, just don't smoke too much, or you'll get lung cancer. In fact, kids don't smoke at all. But in video games, it's cool. So let's go ahead and just kill this guy. Okay, I don't even feel like whipping out my revolver, but things are still looking pretty dire, especially because that cigarette, I mean, let's be honest, that didn't help us at all. So you're gonna be suffering from these effects the entire time until you get health, or you eventually die. So all in all, I think this is a really cool feature and it perfectly represents how the Deadeye system works in the Red Dead Redemption games. But I'd love to know, guys, what do you think about this mod down below? As always, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this until the end. If you guys want to leave a like or subscribe, you totally can do that. All the links will be in the description, of course. And until next time, thanks for watching, and farewell.